Okay, first things first, if you're someone who's been lifting from six months to a year, or if you play any competitive sport at any level, I do recommend creatine. Creatine is the one supplement that actually delivers on all its promises. You ask any experienced lifter, anyone who's been into gymming for a while, they'll always recommend creatine. And that's because it's the most effective supplement out there. Now, a lot of people are actually afraid of taking creatine because they don't have the correct knowledge about it. Remember guys, anything fitness and health related, don't listen to a single individual, but listen to science. So first, let's get into the science of creatine. Okay, the first thing you need to understand about creatine is that it's present in all our bodies. Now for someone who's into any kind of sport or someone who lifts weights, it's all about those explosive movements. On a molecular level, when you break it down, your body actually has a bunch of different systems for different activities. For activities that involve these explosive movements, your body's main fuel source is the molecule called ATP which is present inside your muscle cells. And this is where the creatine game comes into play. Okay, now to understand the use of creatine as a supplement, you need to understand ATP or adenosine triphosphate. So essentially, these are like little batteries in your muscle which come into play when you're doing explosive movements. So every time your muscle wants to do some kind of an explosive movement, any movement that lasts under 10 seconds, it uses these ATP batteries. So every time your muscles want to do an explosive movement like doing a dash or lifting weights, your body actually breaks down those ATP molecules into adenosine diphosphate or ADP and a free phosphate. And that free phosphate actually helps in contributing to the energy and contributing to the movement. Now, if you're not supplementing with creatine, that's what happens. If you are supplementing with creatine, there's a high concentration of something called phosphocreatine in your muscles. So if you're supplementing with creatine and there's a high concentration of phosphocreatine in your muscles, the ADP that's formed from the original ATP will recombine with the free phosphate group from the creatine and reform ATP. So it actually creates a little more ATP and gives you a few more batteries to use in that explosive movement. So essentially this is what it means for you as a gymmer or a sports person. So suppose you're a gymmer doing a bicep curl and you burn out at 10 reps. While supplementing with creatine, you'll actually burn out at 12 reps. Basically, it just makes your body a little more explosive and it lets you push a little harder. And this actually has a carryover in sports. So someone like Virat Kohli, if he's supplementing with creatine, he'll probably be able to hit the ball a little harder or he'll be able to run a few more runs between wickets, something like that. Okay, so that's one effect of creatine. It makes you a better athlete. It makes you more explosive. The second effect of creatine is that it goes and sits in your muscles and draws water. And that's why while supplementing with creatine, you need to be super careful about your water intake. Remember, if your water intake is not on point while you're supplementing with creatine, that creatine in your muscles is actually going to draw water from all the muscle cells and make you dehydrated. And that's why a lot of people say they get cramps and things like that while using creatine. But you can completely avoid that if you're hydrated. So how do you know you're hydrated? Again, go by the colour of your urine. As long as your urine is clear for most of the day, you're in the safe zone. Now how often do you hear gym bro say this? Yeah bro, I don't want to take creatine because you know I look all bulky and bloated and I want to stay lean, you know, I want the lean look. Remember guys, creatine does not make you bulky or bloated. It retains a bit of water in your muscles. That doesn't make you bulky, that just makes your muscles look a little bit fuller. And that's why a lot of people, even while they're cutting, they choose to take creatine just so that the muscles don't look very flat. It kind of gives your muscles a more rounded look, but it's not rounded to an extent where you look bulky. So keep that in mind. Also, creatine is super cost effective. About 600 bucks of it will last you around 2-3 to three months and most of the brands are priced at around the same range. My personal favourite brand for creatine is Muscle Blaze which I've been using for like the past year with great results. Remember, my main deal with Beer Biceps is that I'm honest with my viewers so I wouldn't recommend a bad product. If you want to check out the product, make sure you check out the description below. And keep in mind, this isn't a paid product placement but the Muscle Blaze folks were kind enough to send me their product for free. And a great product, I'll always recommend. Now coming to how you can make best use of your creatine supplement. Keep in mind your body is like a glass and creatine is like a liquid that you're putting inside that glass. Initially your job is to just fill up that glass with the liquid until you're loaded. And this is where the concept of loading with creatine comes into play. Now a lot of supplement companies will write on the box that you're supposed to load initially for the first week. You're supposed to take like 10 or 20 grams of creatine for the first week until you get loaded. And once you're loaded you reduce your dose to about 5 grams a day. Now this way works and it kind of gets your body more loaded faster, it fills up the glass faster. But the other way that also works is that you just take a steady dose of about 5 grams a day and this will just make you get loaded a little later. So instead of one week, you'll get loaded at the two week mark. 
the whole point of loading is to see the effects of the supplement on your body so if you do a loading phase where you're taking a bigger amount of creatine initially you'll see the effects faster you'll be able to push in the gym much harder in the first week itself if you don't load you'll probably see the same effects but two weeks later that's the only difference and as for what you're supposed to take creatine with you can take it with water any beverage of your choice it's completely your call and you can take it at any time of the day it doesn't make a difference at all Okay, now let's talk about what happens to your body after you're done supplementing with creatine. First things first, I only recommend that you take creatine while your jar of creatine lasts. Once it's done, you should stay off the supplement for at least three months. Honestly, I feel that it's not a great idea to stay on the same supplement throughout the year. You kind of want to give your system a break. Now coming to the long-term effects creatine has on your size and strength. Now remember, creatine sits in your muscles and retains water. This gives you a swole look. So you lose about 20% in terms of size, but that's not really a big deal because in the long-term game, creatine is giving you a lot of benefits. Now when it comes to strength, the effect of creatine is something like this. So initially before creatine, if you were on the ground floor, creatine would take you to the 10th floor in terms of strength gains and just how hard you can push in the gym. And once you're off creatine, you kind of drop to the 8th floor. But hey, in the overall scheme of things, you've still gone from the ground floor to the 8th floor and that's still a jump. So in the long term, supplementing with creatine while your jar of creatine lasts will actually have strength gains which will have a carryover to your long term gymming and your long term physique gains. So it's always a great idea to supplement with creatine. Okay, and finally, I want to end the video by saying that there's a lot of people who don't handle creatine well. There's some people who get bloating or a stomach upset or they just get a lot of cramps. So if you're one of those people, it's best to avoid it. But in saying that, remember, we live in India and unfortunately, there's a lot of adulteration when it comes to supplements. So whenever I'm buying a supplement for myself, I make sure I buy it from a trusted brand and a trusted source. My recommendation is in the description, so make sure you check it out. Hey guys, so that was the video for today. If it helped you, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Now remember, building lean muscle mass is a complicated process and it's not as simple as just taking supplements. So if you want diet advice, training advice and just general scientific knowledge about building lean muscle, make sure you check out my lean muscle building tips playlist. So if you want to follow my personal fitness journey, make sure you follow me on Instagram at Beer Biceps and follow me on Snapchat at Ranveer.1693. So until next time guys, from Beer Biceps, see ya.